Mandrill faces and country flags share two features. <laughs> they are both brightly colored and the patterns of colors form a complex patchwork. <laughs> The bright red nose and blue cheek of the mandrill are easy to spot against the dark green backdrop of the lush tropical forests of West Africa. But the similarities with flags end with the meaning behind the colors. Flags are symbolic, and like the red, white, and blue of the American flag, they represent ideals. Red symbolizes courage, blue vigilance and justice, and white purity but the colors do not tell you how pure or vigilant or just a country is. The colors of a mandrill's face send that kind of information about themselves to other mandrills. The most brightly colored males have the highest status in a group, and those males dominate social groups. Intensity of color signals their status. The mandrill signaling system is reinforced by females showing a preference for more brightly colored males. Less colorful males cannot hide their lower ranking status. The colorful patchwork seen on the faces of monkeys in Africa and Asia are broadly predictable. Monkeys living in larger social groups tend to have more complex facial patterns. Those living in darker forests tend to have more vivid colors. Mandrill troop size can exceed 800 individuals. Their faces help them communicate information about each other even before they make facial expressions. Many other organisms also use signaling systems. Monarch and viceroy butterflies use bright and contrasting colors to warn predators they are poisonous. A lionfish uses elaborate colors and patterns to signal the danger it represents to predators as a venomous fish. Rattlesnakes warn off animals that threaten them with the buzz of their rattles, which can send a chill through anyone. If a skunk moves into a handstand, it's a sure sign it will spray a repellent. Other organisms use substances to send signals to attract, an agave flower releases an odorous substance to draw pollinating bats. Organisms of all kinds invented the information age millions of years ago by sending and receiving messages. <laughs> <laughs>